Hello everyone, welcome to Think Computer YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain how you can convert decimal numbers to binary form. First of all, decimal numbers are of two types. One is called integer number and one is called real number okay integer number means any number where there is no fractional part for example 70 for example minus 10 for example 0 for example 90 okay and real number means any number where the number has two parts one is called the integral part one is called the fractional part so real numbers having two part one is called integral part one is called fractional part okay if i give you example Suppose if I take 20.57 Okay, this is a decimal number In this number 20 is the integral part and 0.57 that 57 that is the fractional part So I will be explaining you how do we convert the integer number to binary form and how do we convert a real number to binary form both in decimal So let's start with the integer one So if I take one example if I say there is a decimal number 50 50 base 10 10 is the base for decimal numbers okay and we have to convert this to binary that is base 2 if you want to convert 50 into binary you have to divide by 2 so I'll take 50 and we divide it by 2 so normally when we do division we write the quotient on the right side or on top right and we keep writing the remainder at the bottom what we will do now is we will be writing the remainder on the right side or on top right side is fine and we will be writing the quotient at the bottom that means 225 is a 50 so 25 is the quotient remainder 0 remainder will be written on the right side then again 212 is a 24 okay 25 minus 24 remainder is 1 then again 26 is a 12 12 minus 12 no remainder so 0 then 2 3 is a 6 no remainder 0 then 2 1 is a 2 3 minus 2 remainder 1 if the value is less than 2 then we cannot go any further this will be written bottom to top okay so that means the result will be 1 1 0 0 1 0 base 2 this is how you can convert a decimal number to binary if it's an integer number means only the integral part is there let's take one more example where we will have a number with integral and fractional part for example if i take uh, let's say 20.15 okay 20.15 this is a decimal number base 10 and you want to convert it to binary that is base 2 so we will be converting the integral part separately and the fractional part separately integral part will be done the same way but still i am showing you once so integral part the value is 20 same rule we will be dividing by 2 so 20 we have to divide by 2 so 2 tens are 20 remainder is 0 2 fives are 10 remainder is 0 then 2 2's are 4 remainder is 1 then 2 1's are 2 remainder is 0 bottom to top so integral part value we got is 1 0 1 0 0 base 2 let's come to the fractional part for the fractional part we have to multiply by 2 my value is 0 0.15 okay so I'll take 0 0.15 and I'll do into 2 0 0.15 into 2 is 0 0.30 correct draw a line like this and this value 0 value you write here means whatever comes in the integral part of that answer that you can take out so 0 is there 0 you take out now remaining value is 0 0.30 only that you bring down 0 0.30 into 2 this will give you 0 0.60 again in the integral part comes 0 so 0 you take out then 0 0.60 into 2 that's going to be 1.20 now you see in 1.20 integral part we have 1 so 1 we will take out and the remaining part of the number will write down that is 0 0.20 okay then 0 0.20 into 2 0 0.40 0 out so up to 5 steps you can perform or you can go further after that so this will be written top to bottom so what we get in the fractional part 0 0.0010 okay and the combined answer will be 10100. 0010 base 2 let's take one more example suppose the number is 
base 10 decimal number and we have to convert this to binary that is base 2 so like before we will first convert the integral part integral part the value we have is 38 so that division by 2 we will be doing 2 19s are 38 remainder 0 2 9s are 18 remainder 1 2 4s are 8 remainder 1 2 2s are 4 remainder 0 2 1s are 2 remainder 0 bottom to top this will be written let's come to the fractional part so in the fractional part what do we have 0.22 okay so multiply with 2 like i said 0.22 into 4 will be 0.44 in the integral part is 0 so you just write 0 then you bring down 0 0.44 0 0.44 into 2 will be 0 0.88 again integral part 0 then 0 0.88 into 2 you will get is 1.76 integral part 1 that you have to take out then 0.76 into 2 that is going to be 1.52 1 out remaining 0.52 into 2 that is going to be 1.04 correct 1 out so your final answer is 100110 for that integral part and point fractional part is 00111 base 2 so there is a shortcut method also to convert decimal to binary okay so for example we have got a number let's say 50 we want to convert it to binary okay shortcut is like this write the values as i write 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 how I am getting this? First value is 1, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16 and so on. And how I am getting this? This is 2 to the power 0, this is 2 to the power 1, this is 2 to the power 2, this is 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 5 and so on. So what you need to do is you need to find a combination which can give you 50 and there will be only one combination. So you cannot get multiple answers. For example, my value is 50. How do we get 50? Well if i take 32 and i add 16 so 32 plus 16 is 48 and if i add 2 right 32 plus 16 plus 2 that will make it 50 so below these values which i am going to add i will put 1 and in the remaining places i'll put 0 that is your answer so there you go we have directly converted 50 into binary and the answer we have got is 110010 that's all for this video thank you everyone